Hi Aries, it is CJ and I am going to be doing a monthly reading for you guys for the month of May, obviously 2022. Um, and it will be a general read, so please keep that in mind. If it doesn't seem to resonate, feel free to check out your sun, your moon, rising, Venus, anywhere else you, you may have um, placements and it might give you a little bit more of a fuller picture of what's going on for you. Now, month of May, um, I am, it could be weekly, Place it where it fits. I'm trying to keep it very fluid here. All right, so let us begin. Thank you so much for all of your support on my channel. You guys are just like the best. I appreciate you all so, so much. So let us begin your reading, okay? Um, and what I meant by it could be weekly, but like I'm just, I don't want to get stuck on the numbers, the dates, because time is fluid, right? So let's just dive in. All right, so Spirit, show me clearly. I am starting off, I just wanna pull a major arcana and see what kind of energy is around you or that you could be possibly working with. Um, and then we'll move into the tarot. All right, let's begin. Spirit, please show me clearly what energy is around our beautiful fire sign Aries for the month of May, 2022. And as I said, if this doesn't resonate with you, I've already done one set of May readings, so maybe check that out as well. Okay, so let's get one card, Spirit. One card for May 2022 for Aries. And I have my eyes closed when I'm shuffling, so when they start to feel really crazy, I um, like to recenter them. And one more time, thank you. We have the magician showing up here. Beautiful, love this. This is indicating um, that you have a lot of magic going on in the month of May here, Aries. Powerful energy. You have the ability to bring into your life whatever it is. You know, better finances, better career, better relationships, just even feeling much better in your actual physical self even. They're giving me that for some of you guys, so maybe you haven't been feeling very well. Maybe there's been a little bit of off balance or something. But this month, it is like you have all what you need to create this beautiful life for yourself. You know, the magician is... It has all four elements, the magician. So you have the air and the fire and the water and the earth to bring all four elements together this month and make it work in whatever way you want. It's like you got the Midas touch is really what I'm feeling. So let's get into the major, or, or the major, let's get into the um, tarot spread and see what what's going on for you guys. Oh, that felt stuck, okay. Oof. Deck is almost, it's ready. Boom. No messing around today, Aries. Okay. Spirit, show me clearly, please, for the, the sign of Aries from the month of May. Okay, we got a card. Wow. Lovers. We got the lover's card. That's Gemini. You might be making a choice this month. Could be um, involving a partnership, romantic or otherwise. There could be a strong partnership that is um, really becoming magical this month as well. You even may be dealing with a Gemini. Let's see. Show me clearly, please, for Aries. And I'm going to do two more shuffles, Aries, and then I'm going to start pulling. This one wants to come up, though. Three of Swords. Okay, wow. And one more shuffle. All right, let's see. Okay, we've got the lovers, we've got the three of swords, we've got the ten of cups, we got the sun, wow. Got the devil, five of wands, fighting hard for your wish fulfillment, really working very hard to receive it. Harfant, ace of cups, and the fool massive, massive um, energy going on for you guys. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. So let's get into your spread. Hopefully you can see most of the cards. All right, so I'm really feeling here, Aries, that there has been, um, there's been some kind of toxicity here. There's been some kind of, um, 
there's been some kind of wound, there's been something that has shooken your world up and it feels like it's connected with uh, someone, could be something, that has really been trying to keep the control, the power over you because we have the devil in the center position here. The devil is Capricorn's card. Now, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be something super, super toxic because I'm actually not picking up on that energy, but it's like some something that though, even though it's not massively, massive huge, you know, the devil can be massive addictions, right? Like being addicted to drugs and being addicted to, you know, things that are really unhealthy for us. But I'm really actually picking up a little bit more that, um, there's just this energy of for a while you've been stuck. And as I said, it could be by someone or something. Above it, we have the Three of Swords. So that is telling me very much that you have been injured by this, this energy that is keeping you feeling like you lack control. Um, and it has really caused a lot of stress for you. Um, it's it, This is painful energy. It could be relating to a partnership, a romantic relationship that has been um, perhaps not very healthy at one time at least. And we do have the Hierophant on the bottom. So it's like this could be for some of you areas, this could be regarding some kind of marriage commitment. Um, but it doesn't have to be. But I feel like you are so determined to turn this situation around that you are, whether you have to cut someone out of your life or you have to cut a situation out of your life, I feel like you are really headstrong on doing just that because we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is that happily after card, you know, the happy family, happy home. And it doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship. It just means that it's showing up in your reading areas is indicating that you are going to have all your wishes kind of fulfilled this month and you have the magic, right? You have the ability to bring that all towards you. Um, we have the sun here, that's Leo's card. So. The sun is blessing you with this freedom and this happiness and this joy once again. But there is this feeling that there's been there's been blockages and it's been quite testing on you. But you're so determined. You're so determined to get what you want, which is beautiful and wonderful, especially with you having all that um, ability to be the magician and bring into your life what it is you you are craving and what you are deserving of. Five of Wands is in this placement. It is saying that you are going to keep fighting for it. You are not giving up. Five of Wands can also be indicating that there has been a lot of drama and there has been a lot of struggles in some facet of your life. But I'm really picking up on the energy because of this row. Five of Wands to the Ten of Cups is like you are you are so determined to reach it. Do you see how this person is climbing up to the Ten of Cups? That is exactly what you are doing this month. And underneath, in this row here, you got the Fool. So it's like this brand new beginning, this leap of faith, this absolute desire to start again. And this new start for you is going to be bringing a lot of blessings. Um, when the sun shows up in a reading, it is absolutely illuminating everything. So if there's been some shit that's been going on, there's been someone that may have been causing you a lot of stress, heartache, and you felt like you haven't been able to break free from, which is the devil of the, the energy of the devil, know that this is going to be the month where you actually do break free. You know, on the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. So this is highly indicating that there has been someone that has been tricking you, um, stealing from you doing something that they thought that they could get away with because this is that sneaky card. It is undermining another person. And I do not think if this is you. I feel like someone else in your life has been trying to undermine you and has been trying to control you. And it has been hurting you in some way, shape or form, right? Because this could be about business too. Um, could be about finances as well. Although we don't have any pentacles here, so I'm not going to lean that way. But you have the queen of swords underneath. And that is telling me you are really getting very clear and concise of what direction you want to go. It's like the sun is illuminating, perhaps even the stealing and the um, that sneaky kind of energy, that betrayal kind of energy. 
perhaps the sun is lighting it up this month and you are going to take your sword and you are just going to cut all the ties. You're going to just release yourself from it. And what that brings you, Aries, is the Ten of Cups. But not only do you have the Ten of Cups here, you have the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups and the Fool. Look at the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning in your emotions. Could be a new beginning in a relationship. But it is one that is going to fill up your heart and leave your emotions very beautifully balanced. It's that really happy, just fulfilling energy. And as I said, this could be involving a marriage because with the lovers and the hierophant, for me as an intuitive reader, that can definitely indicate for some of you Aries out there that this is not, this is some kind of a deep commi commitment that has had a breakdown um, because someone has been trying to underhand you, undermine you, trying to convince you of something that has made you feel almost in prison is what I'm feeling here. But the Hierophant is telling you that you have that higher level of wiseness. You're very wise, Aries. You're very smart. Not many people can pull the wool over your eyes. You know, you are that fiery energy. You are represented by the emperor. And if you think about an emperor, they don't, they don't stay down. Um, they sit above their whole village. <clears throat> and they control the shots, usually fairly and kindly, but for the betterment of everyone, including themselves. You are going to be in that place again if you haven't been feeling that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, wow, let me see what else I can pick up here. So if you've been struggling and you've been going through something that has been quite painful and quite... Um, keeping you stuck, keeping you down, keeping you just unable to move, you are making a decision this month to change the whole situation. And it's like you are giving yourself this new start in some way. Beautiful card to have. This row, I like it because it's like showing me your determination and showing me that you are fighting to get your Ten of Cups, whether that's with someone or just on your own, but filling up all your cups for you. You are getting it this month. Um, this is powerful. I just want to see how many major arcanas you got. One, two, three. Well, you've got four. Four plus the Magician. So it's a powerful month for you. Um, I feel like you're going to be very successful. I feel like Spirit wants you to know that all that you've gone through here has not been for nothing. You've gained a lot. You've learned a lot. And it's even helped you learn exactly what it is that you do want. Not, and you've learned what you do not want. So let me see. So we've got the Queen of Swords, which was under the Seven of Swords, which is that, eh, you know. This showing up at the bottom of the deck, I don't like it because it is... Um, I just feel like someone's been trying to get away with something and it, it, it could just be like manipulation of the mind, you know, tr trying to keep you low, trying to keep you feel feeling less than that's the energy I'm picking up. But underneath the queen of swords, who does use that sword to cut, to cut people out, you know, cut situations out. She's very calm though. You know, she's not blowing up or freaking out or anything. She's very logical here. She is pondered. She has thought about it all. The sun's illuminated something and she is making her plans. And I feel like this is, the, you're just going to really clear away the shit is what I feel. And the nine of pentacles is underneath that. So it's like getting your complete independence financially. It is bringing you um, a lot of coin, bringing you that stability in your finances it's also bringing you that self-confidence that, you know, Aries, you are well known for. So it's positive, even if it's been quite a struggle. I now want to see if anything else wants to come to the fountain deck here. Ooh, almost knocked everything over. Okay, let's see. You know, in the sun, the figure, she has her back turned to the devil. So it is really like you are cutting someone out. You're not allowing this, this energy to have an influence over your life anymore. <coughs> Excuse me, Aries. 
All right, spirit. Deck is ready. Let's clarify the devil. Let's clarify the devil, spirit. What is the devil about in this reading for Aries? Now, the star. Wow, that's Aquarius, with another major arcana. Yeah, so there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of healing or hurt, but there is healing coming in here. So whoever the devil is, you know, and for some of you guys, maybe this is involving some kind of addiction, something that is toxic to you, um, that has caused a lot of pain for you. Um, well, you're, you're, you're getting healed this month. This is a beautiful energy to come out to clarify the devil. This is renewed faith. This is like knowing that, you know, you are so supported, Aries, and you, there is the divine energy that is helping and protecting you. Feels very, this is healing. You're healing from whatever the devil represented in your life this month. So that is absolutely beautiful. What else do I want to clarify here? Let's clarify the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. What's the Three of Swords for Aries? Thank you. Queen of Cups. It's something or someone that you gave your heart to. Queen of Cups is very emotional. This is our water element. Um, maybe you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But it feels like you would put your whole heart into something. A lot of love, a lot of emotion, a lot. You even protected this person or this situation, business, whatever it is. You put a lot into it. And, you know, your heart was broken from it. Um, and it was probably a great disappointment. All right, let's see. And it feels like this is more of a relationship because cups are about our um, emotions and our relationships. So it does really feel like this is a, a relationship that has had some betrayal in it. And not only betrayal, but like a manipulation level to it. And I feel like this is the other person, Aries, not you. Okay, let's see. What else do I want to clarify? Um, let's clarify the Five of Wands, please, Spirit, for Aries. Remember, you are the magician this month. You have the energy of the magician. You can manifest exactly what you want. Uh, Five of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords. Okay, Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Eight of Swords underneath that. Six of Swords. Okay. I'll pull these out because they're very important. So we're at, we asked to clarify the Five of Wands. So we get the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is that... Swords is the air. It's our um, logic, our communication, all that. I feel like someone was very ruthless towards you. They, there was a lot of pain caused, a lot of hurt caused here. Um, and it's... But it's ending now. It's over. But this, it really, really was nasty. The thing is, though, Aries, it's clarifying the Five of Wands. And what I love about this is that you're not letting it stop you. You are not letting the Devil, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, or the Ten of Swords stop you. You are reaching up to the Ten of Cups. So that is actually really beautiful. When we look at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is about you taking that time out, allowing yourself to heal, allowing yourself to recuperate, perhaps even just allowing yourself to get some bloody rest, Aries. Um, this has probably been very emotionally exhausting, if not even physical exhausting. So it is about taking that time out so that you can rejuvenate yourself. Underneath that is the Eight of Swords. That is indicating to me that um, there's been a lot of worry, a lot of stress that has been going on in your mind here about this this circumstance, this situation, and it has kept you also feeling stuck. The Eight of Swords energy is that of where you feel like you have no way to get out of it. You feel blindfolded, you feel handcuffed, and you just feel stuck in it, quite like the devil energy here. But the beautiful part of this is the Six of Swords is showing up, and this is saying you are so moving away from all of the pain the hurt, the disappointment, the, 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 the betrayal even from the past, um, or could be even your present. You might be going in through this right now, Aries, but you are moving away from it now. You are leaving the choppy waters and you are going to smoother waters now. So really hold on here. I can see that you've been going through something that has been very hellish uh, and it has probably been very exhausting. But this is ending. It's like maybe you just need to take some time so that you can get your mind really clear 
Um, and then you can take that sword and get rid of all of this because you have the magician. And he has all of those. He has all of those tools, you know? He's got the sword right here. There's the sword. So you're going to use that sword to clear away all of the stuff, all of this negativity, all of this lying, stealing, etc. You get the picture. Um, we do have the Six of Cups underneath that too. So Six of Cups for me as a reader is about something or someone that is connected to the past. So this could have even been a very long-term relationship um, that you that's come to light here of this betrayal, of this sabotage. And that's not good. Like, that's not cool. Whoever has done this is, well, you know, trust that they will receive what they need to receive in order for them to learn the highest good of them. Um, but... It does feel like this was um, um, a pretty major relationship. But I want to say to you, don't worry, Aries, because everything's turning around. You've got this brand new start as a fool. You have a brand new emotional um, start with the Ace of Cups. you got the Ten of Cups. you got the sun here shining down on you, giving you your freedom back and giving you your joy back. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get you one card from Treasures from Takashi, and we will close this reading off. Okay. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that they want me to say. You're going to be just fine, and I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. Aries, you are a very strong, strong, strong energy. Okay. Let's go on his deck. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's get one card spirit for our beautiful Aries regarding this reading of May 2022. And again, this could be about work, you know, um, but like we don't have any pentacles here. So I'm really feeling this is more about a relation, more love relation. Could be family, could be family, could be so-called friends, something like that. Let's get one card for Aries to close this reading off, please. Spirit. Please show me clearly. You're healing this month. No doubt about it. One card, please. All right. This deck feels very quiet right now. One card, please. There we go. Well, it looks like we got two, so we'll take it. Wow, okay. First card out is love. What's going on with deck? Just kind of like, it says open this on the bottom. I may or may not read it. We'll see. Love. So this is Spirit's way of confirming that this is about a love relationship for the majority of you. And self-recognition here. So let me read this. It says open yourself to more of it. Love yourself. You are lovable and you are worth loving. Love is all around you always, whether you feel it or not. As soon as you let go of the conditions you have placed on love, you open yourself to love from a new direction. Unconditional love may feel different to what you have allowed before. <clears throat> that is so beautiful, Aries, because I feel like this new, this new unconditional love is coming towards you with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups, and it is a new beginning with the Fool here. So it's like whatever was going on in the past, whatever connection this was that was betraying you, this pain, this this manipulational kind of energy, that is not unconditional love. That is conditional love. And that isn't even true love. That's not real love. That's control. So I feel like you're going to be getting the real love um, very soon, real unconditional love. It says, self-recognition says, yes, recognize yourself. You are a wonderful spiritual being expressing in a body. Now is the time to feel good about you. Make a list of your skills and attributes and discover yourself lovingly. Do not look to others. You do not need their approval. Others may not be recognizing you at this time. New opportunities are around. Be sure to recognize them. So here's this new start. This is the fool card. This is about you recognizing how wonderful you are regardless of like and not regardless cutting out what other people this other person has been telling you how they've been treating you you got to cut that out now because that is not true they're the devil energy center of the reading here so this is the 
this is the 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 problem and you need to not believe them anymore you got to believe in yourself um and i want to see what's on the bottom of the deck with the openness here it says openness creates create openness creates an allowance of the self to be without judgment openness breaks down barriers melts away fears and allows creativity and communication to flow let go all levels of fear doubt worry and concern and when and what you have left will be confidence, self-esteem, and love, all of which function very well with openness. Again, another card speaking of just cutting out, cutting out the fear, cutting out that, because I feel Aries, like someone has really kind of just been trying to do a number on you here. And even if that's someone that you were once married to or deeply committed to, I just feel like there's been underhandedness going on here. You're getting it clear this month. You're getting it straight. And you are moving on and fighting for your Ten of Cups. And you're going to get it because it's here. It's showing up. You're getting it. So use all of that power that you have being the magician and um, watch it manifest for you. So I hope this helps in some way, Aries. Like bless your heart. Um, good things await for you, for sure. So take care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this and that it helps in some way. We'll see you next time. Lots of love.